First time I, first time I heard anything about transformative was years before they even coined the term. I was at an NCPCR meeting in um, Denver in 1985, and I heard this bishop from the Episcopal Church in Northern Africa or something. He was a friend of Terry White's, and he'd done a lot of mediations with Terry White. And he said, on one level, when we mediate, we get a settlement sometimes. But then sometimes on another level, there's a healing of the tear in the relationship. There's a transforming of the relationship. I said, yeah, yeah, he's right, he's right. And I think the transformative people say, we focus on that tear and the healing and get that, and then the settlement will come. Mm -hmm. I'm not so sure it's always that easy, and mm -hmm. certainly they can do it. But, but for me, I see transformative and working on the relationship as merely one aspect of all the other things we try to do in our role as client-centered mediators. And so just like I don't think uh, um, an attorney would say, uh, I'm a collateral estopolist, <laughs> although I don't know what you mean, or, or a therapist would not say, I'm a reframist. <laughs> I mean, that's one of the things they do in their mm -hmm. whole bag of tricks. So, uh, and uh, we're always changing and our views are always changing, but right now I'm kind of distressed that there's all this battle over transformative and evaluative and directive. I think, you know, there's, there's, there's room to do transformative mediation.